What does code F31 mean on a Whirlpool Cabrio dryer Moet Wood 6200W1? Thanks for counting on us to help with your appliance problem. My name is XXXXXXXXXXX. I look forward to helping you. Do you have a meter to test continuity with? Yes, but I am not near the appliance at this time. Okay, I suspect the heating element is grounded and is staying on all the time, causing the overheat error and the thermal fuse to continue to open. With the dryer unplugged, test the element terminals to ground for continuity. If it shows continuity, it will need to be replaced and is available below. Please let me know if you have additional questions or need clarification. There is no additional charge for any follow-up help. Heating Element thank you for allowing me to assist you. I am happy to answer any follow-up questions you may have at no additional charge. I went to check the heating element terminals to ground dot I do not measure a short. I know that the exhaust thermistor sends temp signal to the control BD. The thermistor measures OK on the control BD input terminal. What is error code F31? What do you suggest next THX? Error code F31 is not a program code for this model, but usually when that appears, it indicates an issue with the airflow, overheat, condition. How is the vent line on the dryer? The vent that is between the dryer and the wall is clean. The vent line that exhausts to the outside seems okay because I can feel the hot air coming out of the vent outside the house. Okay, is the hot air forceful? Can you remove the vent and run a cycle and see if the code returns and the clothing is as hot? What do you mean forceful? Should you feel the same airflow outside as you get at the output of the dryer? I do not want a risk of blowing the thermal fuse again. If F31 is not a programmed error code. Why is it showing up on the error code list? Control electronics a problem. How do I prove this? As far as airflow, it should be enough to blow your hair back on the outside of the house. The error codes that are not programmed are usually piggyback codes that are not designed to display. There is not really a good reason why it displays, but some suggest it is picking up an unidentified failure and throws that code. Some have suggested that it is because of the open thermal fuse. Whirlpool has not come out with an explanation and has no recommended fixes, but do not suggest replacing the control on that F31 code alone. I want to check if the, the heater is always on or it pulses on or off by the control electronics. If the heater pulses then I know that the controller and thermistor are working and the problem could be related to airflow. If the heater is always on 240 vac is present all the time then I would suspect the controller BD. I do not see anything else causing the thermal fuse to open. Any other suggestions to try at the same time? I will do this test tomorrow. Right now my wife is yelling at me. We are late for a dinner engagement. I will give you some feedback soon. That will definitely tell you what's happening. Let me know what you find. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you, Kelly. You are very welcome. Let me know what you find. Hello, Kelly. After some more extensive checks, the problem turned out to be a short in the heating element. The strange thing is that when I tested the heater with the back cover removed it was okay, as soon as I installed the back cover I detected a short to the chassis, read about 6 ohms from L2 to chassis ground. I proceeded to open the heater assay and sure enough the heating coil was all deformed and you could see that when you install the heater assembly on the chassis of the dryer, 
the part of the heater that was deformed touched chassis ground. I temporarily reshaped the heating element to its natural coil shape and are planning to replace it ASAP. Whirlpool should have installed a ceramic insulator on the dryer chassis to prevent the heater from shorting to the chassis. Thank you for your great insight and technical assistance. That is great news, nice find. Please let me know if I may be of further assistance. Thank you for allowing me to assist you. I am happy to answer any follow-up questions you may have at no additional charge. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.